We've already written the reacting ratio of this particular reaction in various forms. Now we're going to use that to solve problems related to the reaction. How many moles of nitrogen will react with 3 moles of hydrogen? We need to multiply this by unit factor with moles hydrogen at the bottom and moles nitrogen at the top. Now actually this is such an easy question, you don't even need to do that because if we look back at our reacting ratios we can see, it just says it to us straight away, it says to us one mole of nitrogen is needed for every three moles of hydrogen so we're busy being asked here how many moles nitrogen for three moles hydrogen obviously the answer is one mole but let's do it the long way too so here we have our unit factor with the correct unit so that we end up with what's asked and cancel out what's given and this unit factor refers to reacting ratio for this reaction and every one mole of nitrogen needs three moles of hydrogen to react in this particular reaction. And so our answer is one mole of nitrogen. How many moles of hydrogen will react with three moles of nitrogen? We multiply by unit factor with moles nitrogen at the bottom, moles hydrogen at the top, where this unit factor is the reacting ratio for this particular reaction. One mole of nitrogen reacts with three moles of hydrogen, so our answer is 9 moles hydrogen. How many moles ammonia will be formed from 11 moles of hydrogen? Our unit factor has moles hydrogen at the bottom, moles ammonia at the top. For every 2 moles of ammonia, 3 moles of hydrogen. 11 times 2 divided by 3 is equal to 7,33 moles ammonia. How many moles ammonia will be formed from 11 moles of nitrogen? The unit factor has moles ammonia at the top, moles nitrogen at the bottom. Every 1 mole of nitrogen reacts to form 2 moles of ammonia. 11 times 2 divided by 1, 22 moles ammonia.